Do you guys know that there are more than 300 million businesses all around the world and thousands of new businesses join them every single day. In this business world, the goal is to stand out. And where does it all begin? With your brand name. Choosing the perfect brand name is one of the most important steps in your brand building process. But there is a twist. Usual words and common ideas are often already taken. So how do you select a name? What is the plan? And what are some legal stuff? I'm here to help you out. By the end of this video, you will be ready to pick up the ultimate name for your brand. Hello, I am Rohan. I talk about designing, branding, freelance and much more. If you are new here, hit subscribe to support me. All right, let's get started. Why a good brand name matters. A strong brand name is really important. It makes a strong first impression, makes you different from others and shows your core essence. It helps in creating connection, brand awareness and can be legally protected. A well-chosen name is valuable thing that supports marketing, growth all over the world and long lasting value. To justify my point here, let's understand this with an example of Amazon. They started as an online bookstore and now they are huge and it all started with their name. When Jeff Bezos was thinking of a name, he began with the first letter A in the dictionary because back then websites were listed in order of alphabet. So he was looking for a name that starts with A. And guess what he found? The word Amazon. This is also the name of the biggest river on our planet. Bezos thought this is just the perfect name for the biggest online bookstore. Fast forwarding today, when we hear the name Amazon, we imagine a huge online store where there is so much to buy. We remember it quickly and easily. The name is simple and works everywhere, no matter which language we speak. Do you see that arrow in their logo going A to Z? It means they have everything you need. The word Amazon sounds big, like they have a lot of things to offer. This is how a clever name like Amazon helps everyone know about the brand and has a huge potential to expand in future. Alright guys, let's start this video. I have divided this in three sections. It will be easier to understand. Types of name, features of a good brand name and the process. In this video, we are not only touching the surface. We will be getting into the core of the brand naming. Let's dive into the first section where we talk about seven types of brand names. Starting with number one clear and descriptive. This kind of name clearly tells you what your business offers. Take the Home Depot for example. The name makes it really clear. It's a place to find things to improve your home. Such names are simple and help customer quickly to understand what to expect. Number two, inventive. In this way of naming, brands create new word or mix words together to make you curious. A good example is Verizon, made by mixing Veritas, Latin for truth and Horizon. Even though the name doesn't have a direct meaning, it shows a commitment to being truthful and looking towards endless possibilities. Number 3. Metaphorical Metaphorical names use science or comparison to show deeper meanings. Think of Nike, named after Greek goddess of victory. It shows a brand that encourages people to work hard and succeed in what they do. Number 4. Acronyms and Initial This way is about shortening a longer name to its first letters. An example is IKEA, made from the owner's first letter of name, Ingvar Kampard, and the first letter of the farm and village where he grew up, Amtorid and Agnorid. Number 5. Experiential Experiential names try to make you feel something about the brand, like Lego. It comes from a Danish phrase Leggoth, which means play well. This name not only shows the fun of building and creating, but also asks customers to have fun and use their imagination with the product. Number 6. Associative. Associative names make surprising connection to get your attention, like Amazon, which started as an online bookstore but chose the name to show it's big and full of possibilities. Now the last and number seven and my personal favorite, abstract. Abstract names use special words that might not directly talk about the business but they get meaning over time. Think of Sony, which comes from the Latin word sonus that is mean sound and sony that means youthful showing their aim to bring new and young energy to the world of electronics now that we know the types let's talk about what features makes a name really stand out a good name is filled with good features we will talk about four features here the first feature is meaning a brand name gives a clear idea of what the brand does or sells Think of Amul, a brand that makes dairy products. Amul comes from the Sanskrit word Amulle, which means something precious. This tells us that Amul's products are valuable and high quality. Next is length. A short brand name is easy to remember and share. Consider Qantas. 
an airline from Australia, even though it's short for Queensland and Northern Territory Aerial Services, people just say Qantas. It's quick and sticks in your mind. Another thing to keep in mind is pronunciation. A brand name should be easy to say correctly, no matter which language you speak. Look at Zara, a famous Spanish clothing brand. The name sounds the same in many languages. This makes it simple for people everywhere to say it right. Fourth feature and probably highly underestimated feature, sound. A nice sounding brand name is easy to remember. Think of Ferrero Rocher, the chocolate brand. Even though it doesn't mean something special, the name sound fancy and delightful. That makes it easy to recall. Now that we know what are the types of names and what features to look for, the next thing is how do you actually choose the perfect name for your brand. Let's explore the process of selecting an ideal brand name using these 8 essential steps. Step number 1 is understand your brand. Start by getting to know your brand really well. Think about what your brand stands for, its values and what makes it special. This will guide you in finding the name that fits perfectly. In the next step, gather ideas. Make a list of cool words, feeling or ideas related to your brand. Write down everything that pops on your head. Don't worry about being perfect at this stage. Just let your creativity flow. Keep it simple. Remember, simple is super. Look for words that are easy to say and understand. You want a name that everyone can remember without any trouble. In the next step, check the meaning. Make sure the words you are thinking about have a good meaning that match what your brand is all about. You want a name that feels good and makes people think of the right things. Next step is feedback. Share the list of possible names with your friends and family. Ask them what they think and which names they like the most. Sometimes other people's opinion can be really helpful. Step 6. Pick up the winner. Based on what your friends and family say, pick the name that feels the best. But remember, it should make you excited about your brand and what you're offering. Step 7. Check if it's available. Before you finalize your brand name, make sure it's legally available and isn't being used by another business. You don't want any legal issues down the road. And finally, claim your name. If everything looks good and you're happy with your choice, you can officially register the name. This means it's officially yours and now you can start using it to show off your brand. I hope this video helped you understand the different type of brand names, their features and how to choose one. Your brand name is the key to its personality. With the right name, you can set a strong foundation of your business. If you still have any questions, feel free to drop out in the comment section. This is it guys. If you are still watching the video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe to support me. I will come up with more insights into design, branding, freelancing and much more. Bye for now.